Welcome YouTube, this is the Velvet Locks with another video. In this video, I want to share with you the best ancient Chinese secret around when it comes to hair growth. And you know what that secret is? I can tell you this much. It's easy, it's simple, and it's affordable. It's called rice. Yes, rice water will grow your hair. This is a highly requested video that a few of my subscribers have asked me to go in deeper when it comes to the benefits of rice water. Well, I'm gonna go even deeper than that. I'm gonna show you also how to ferment it how to prepare it for your rinse, and even for those loose naturals who want to use it as a shampoo. Yes, a natural shampoo that you wash your hair with on your wash day. And it's safe enough to use on your hair. It doesn't harm your hair in any way, and you can use it as many times as you choose to, whether it be as a shampoo or a rinse. So we're gonna get into a little bit more about this ancient Chinese secret. Now one thing I'm always doing is trying to find new ideas of doing things naturally. Whether it be foods, whether it be hair products, facial products, I'm always trying to do the natural journey thing. Well I stumbled on this secret when I was doing some research and it was based on this remote village in China where these uh, particular type of women called Yao minority women and they stayed in this Chinese village and in this village they were known as the long haired village which means everybody in this village had long hair and we're not talking about hair down your back we're talking about hair sweeping on the floor and as I'm talking I'm gonna put some pictures along in this video so you can see what I'm talking about they were also recognized in the Guinness Book of World Records as the village of long hair all of this was based on them using rice water to wash their hair to rinse their hair and because of that their hair grew like Rapunzel okay so all of you ladies who are looking for something easy affordable natural and won't harm your hair but will grow your hair stay tuned because this is the best ancient Chinese secret around town now the ingredients you're gonna need to for this process is a mason jar or any type of tight seal jar you're gonna need some rice white rice brown rice but I prefer the white rice because it's starchy as well as a measuring cup. First you gotta ferment your rice, which means you gotta prepare it for your hair rinse. So I'm gonna open this bag of rice and I'm gonna measure about a cup, cup of rice. Okay, and that's a cup of rice. Before pouring your rice off, we're gonna wash the rice. So once you've rinsed your rice off, you rinse off all of the, all of the um, particles that's in the rice, all of the dirt, the broken pieces or whatever, all of the dust, okay? And then you pour that into your mason jar. Next, you're gonna fill it all the way up with plain pipe water. Okay, so after you finish filling your pitcher, your mason jug, pitcher, whatever glass jars that you may have, you fill it with water. Okay. And that's it and then you leave it sitting on the counter for one to two days outside of the refrigerator. Once you've let it stay for two days, then you can put it in the refrigerator for the rest of the uh, week, maybe up to a whole week you can leave it in there. I've left mine in there longer because what this does is after the two days, it's gonna stop the fermentation process so it won't get stinchy -er, because it's going to smell. That's good. All right, so we're gonna leave this on the side for two days. 
So I have some rice water that's already been fermenting as well as uh, in the refrigerator and it's been since my last wash day which was last week. So I'm going to use this one for the demonstration. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to use the rice water in your hair. Now when you're using it as a shampoo for your hair, your best bet is to use a basin because we're going to keep using that same water to rub in our scalp and massage in our hair. So I'm just going to pour my rice water that's been steeping inside my basin. And like I said, it's going to have a, a, a stench on it. It's going to smell a little funny, but that's good. Now, if you're going to use this as a shampoo, you may also want to add a little bit water to your basin. Maybe about a cup or so, because this is going to be concentrated. And yeah. <laughs> Next, you're going to just dip your head in the basin. best bet is to probably use a little cup so that you can use this and pour it throughout your hair. Okay, so I'm back from rinsing out my hair and you can add, you could even do this in the shower if you just want one full rinse but I think it's best that you use a basin so th this way in between washes you can just saturate your hair with the rice water rinse and then after you've rinsed it throughout your hair and if you've done that in massage your, your scalp with it then you let it set in your hair for at least five to ten minutes before completely rinsing it out so there it is you guys I finished washing the rest of the rice water out of my hair and I just love the refreshing feeling that you get I mean just knowing that your hair is clean and it's but you know one thing I do recommend that you don't do if you have locks I really don't think that this is good for you to use as a shampoo only because with locks we are our hair is sealed and a lot of oils get trapped in between the locks so with that being said you're not really getting the oils out so yeah but to do it as a rinse and then you massage it in your hair after using you know after using a shampoo ah yeah this is wonderful you, you massage it in your hair, you massage it on your scalp, uh, you know, run it through your hair for like two minutes, but you massage it in at the same time for two to three minutes. And then after that, you let it sit on your hair for at least five to ten minutes and do other things in the meantime. Then when finally you're ready to wash it out, you wash it out and you're ready to style, okay? So that's how you use the fermented rice water like I said this has wonderful hair benefits as well as beauty benefits I'll get to that in another video but until then I will see you in the next video